Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. The name is Mara. Today I will be watching a movie called Aunt Joseph. I think it's the King of Dreams. So today I will be watching this movie on my phone because it's the weekend and my children are not allowed to use any electronics like phone, computer, nothing uh, during the week so when it's like uh, Friday after they can use Friday after school into Sunday evening so whenever it's the turn to have that computer and all of that I cannot use it the whole weekend I can't use it um, except from when they go to bed and I cannot wait the time uh, it's already late uh, full disclaimer if you didn't know yet I'm a Christian yes I am born into a Christian family I have prayed for the sake I've laid hands on people I've preached I sing I uh, translate I do a lot of things in the church um, my parents are Christians they are pastors my grandparents are pastors my uncles ankle my ankle my uncles are pastors with their own churches so an evangelist prophetess like the whole generational thing the only thing that I have not done as a Christian is um, blessed a wedding um, host I don't know can I say host host a funeral and uh, baptize people and those are the three things I will not do so I have seen um, Joseph movie love action I know there are so many versions of everything I have seen it we have my father has cassettes like the old school cassettes video cassette um, of those um, of like every person in the Bible and I've seen it all and I know my Bible I know sometimes when they're trying to make a uh, live action anything of real life events and yes I say real life um, so be mad about it if you want to each their own I say real life event um, I know sometimes they want to dramatize stuff, they want to put drama where there's no drama, they're trying to make it interesting, they want to sell tickets, they want to sell cassettes or CDs. Um, so I will not judge this movie um, according to what I know from the Bible. Uh, if there is something wrong or something that didn't happen, if they had something, I will just watch this like a regular movie and I will enjoy it for a regular movie so if you expect me to be like no this is wrong this wasn't here no this is... no i won't do that <laughs> this is a movie a normal movie although i know what will happen in the movie but let's see maybe there will be some surprise in here uh with that said Look at yourself, Father. You would think this was your first child. It was different with your mother. <laughs> Rachel, we gave up hope. We were told she could never have children. Yeah. She just had two kids. Oi! I know back in the days, and still now, even in my country, people value more men than women. But they forget that women are the ones giving birth to those men. Where there was none. Oh, they would be singing. Look at them being happy for some years. We'll stand apart from other men. We'll stand beside him and together. Be a family. <gasps> no. I think this is Jacob's fault. A lot of this is Jacob's fault. Your trials and light is Look at that tongue. Yeah, I like the transition. Look, it's smart too. It's 
Jacob is spoiling this child. Uh, and it, it is his fault. I'm gonna explain at the end, so before you stop typing, take it easy. This was a long song. It's a really long song. That is cool animation. Yeah, the first dream about the wolf. <laughs> the ram. The wolves killed the ram. It was dead. I, I don't understand. It all seems so real. It must be like four or five in the morning. <laughs> this is Jacob's fault. Joseph, God has a plan. So the other kids are you. useless. You are. You have a purpose. Jacob, even God rested on the seventh day. He'll find his future soon enough. Let him be with his brothers. Please, let me do that. <laughs> I have to be very careful. You might cut your hands on the soft fur. Get away. <laughs> Jealousy. You're not tired because you got up early. It's because you were out all night. Why, you little sneak. Mm. I know about everything. The women and the drinking. There's a lot father doesn't know. You wouldn't. Oh, he would. <gasps> oh no, rat. you shouldn't say that. Jealousy. Gotcha. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. People were brave back then. <laughs> What happened? This is how you take charge? Expect you to watch after Joseph. But you abandoned my son. My son! Aren't we your sons too? Joseph didn't really see the future. Did he? He did. The ram just died. And he dreamt about it. Sometimes you love it, you shouldn't tell people your business. Just keep quiet about stuff. This dream. The dream that got him in trouble. The dream that got him in trouble. And he just had to tell them that he stood above them all. I was above you, and, and your wheat bowed to me. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Nothing. Jacob said nothing. Jacob said nothing. They were bowing to me too. Ooh, let's all bow down to Joseph. We can't ignore these dreams. Are you saying that Joseph belongs above all of us, even Judah? Look at what your dreams have done. Don't get mad at me. I didn't ask for them. But you didn't... You didn't have to tell them. Life is a lot harder for them than it ever will be for you. Why do you defend them? They're not even your sons. Can we all agree that something has to be done about Joseph? Absolutely. Yes. I agree. Stay oh my I just gosh. Put on us to father. You're his favorite. No. <laughs> oh yes, Master Joseph, ruler of the world. Give it back. This is Jacob's, Jacob's fault, basically. I'm talking about the movie. Yes. <laughs> Maybe he can dream his way out. Oh my gosh. Child. You think this is funny? Well, father won't be laughing when he hears... What are you doing? Ow. Let me go. You don't understand. I... That is so sad. Like doing stuff like this to your own family. I, I get being mad and frustrated, but doing this to your own family, this is insane. As agreed, 20 pieces of silver. You want to say you didn't know? The one saying why? You didn't Help know me. the deal? Levi, please. Issachar. 
I don't think they only did this because Jacob was, the, or I mean, Joseph was the favorite. I think they, they could do it too because they are not like a hundred percent brothers. If he was a whole, how do we say, a whole brother, I don't think they would have sold him. They maybe would have done some stupid prank. Imagine not be not being able to give birth and then your only child disappear or this is all we found. died. <gasps> so heartless. Some people are so heartless. The pirates, we need the gaze of the songs are amazing in this movie. Thing's too skinny. This is <laughs> Oh. Mm, it looks healthy enough. Lord Potiphar. Oh my god, burn it. I couldn't wash it. Poor boy. This is all Jacob's fault. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna keep saying it. He has never done this in his life. Like, why? Oh, you were right. He's all that you promised. Give me, but something is not quite right. <laughs> You're a busy man. Anyone can make a mistake. Master, I think you should see this. Oh my god, Joseph in everybody's business. Therefore, you got sold. Anyone can make a mistake. And yours is going to cost you your freedom. Please. Keep You've done well. What's your name? Joseph. You're an educated slave. Where did you learn? My father taught me. My father spoiled me. What a mess. A Good luck. He gets to organize the room. Girl, that itch. He got so much freedom being a slave. Like you will not know he's a slave. To a good year. Just judging and from this movie. Friend. Huh? Shh. Girl, that itch we kill somebody. I feel you are. I love you. What? No. We'll, we'll... To be with you. No. This is not Joseph, right. look at me. No, I, I will I will not betray I'm my man. Ma'am, he's a virgin. Mom? Everything you are, you owe to me! This actually happens in real life. People lying. It happens. And there are true stories, but... What do you say for yourself? I did nothing wrong. And still you insult me with your denials. It's not what it seems. I could never betray you, Master. Such insolence! Am I to believe a slave Women. over my own wife? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you must be put to death. Oh, Master, I beg you. Tell him. Help me. Tell him that I... He doesn't deserve to die. I lied. Why? Witch. Witch. I think she has done this so many times before. She just got denied this time. That got them hitch. The, the three vines mm. signify three days. In three days, Pharaoh will bring you back to the palace. A free man. Tell Pharaoh about my gift. Please, promise me. Some. The three baskets also signify three days. In three days... You would die. See, tell Pharaoh about me. I will. For some reason, there is a um, weather change in my bathroom. So sometimes it's too hot, sometimes it's too cold. I don't know. Any kindness you take away. You were the one who gave me the dreams. You brought me the gift. You talk too much though. You didn't have to tell people. 
It will be your own family that kills you. Ugh. Potiphar? Oh my god. Thero is tortured by a dream. None of his wise men can explain it. I'm to bring you to the palace. How could I have allowed this to happen? My wife, I understand. But still, you let him stay in prison, even after knowing the truth. Cool, I wanna get dressed. The explanation comes from God. None of my wise men are magicians. None of my gods. Indeed. Well, it's a different God to start with. It's not the same God as yours. Healthy cows and ears of grain are seven years of abundance. The sickly cows and the withered grain mean seven years of famine will follow. You must find a man you can trust. Otifar, you trust this man. With my life, Excellency. Through this man, I have seen the future of Egypt. Through his deeds, we shall prosper. See what God can do. All Egypt. Only See Pharaoh what God will can be greater. Do. Call him Zafnat Panea. The God he's speaks, even, oh my God, he's even he greater than uh, his master. Beautiful. I love this, the harmony and all. They got some wisdom from back home that is teaching them. You see, everything worked out at the end. God works in mysterious ways. He was needed somewhere else, although the circumstances were not that great but it helped a whole nation and other nations oh wow the water turned into mud how many in your family five fine next please a long life for you excellency and for you Be here. You are not Egyptian. No, sir. My brothers and I have traveled far and came. Look, <laughs> Gwen Hyde. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but you haven't contributed to our supply. We don't ask for charity. We'll pay you with silver. <gasps> Is that the same silver? Yes, they saved the money for so many years. Ten what? When is the youngest? No were they thinking? Uh, you was he thinking about himself? Because I don't think at this point he knew that he had a younger brother. Your Excellency, everything we say is true. I, I swear it. Then prove it. Produce this youngest brother. Why? What would that prove? That you're not lying. If you're telling the truth, I will let you buy all the grain you want. My brothers will come for me. Shut up. Maybe they've suffered these last 20 years as well. Maybe they've changed. No. Vengeance. It's not a good thing, though. You've done what I've asked? Our brother, Benjamin. He looks like him. Benjamin. Tell me of your your mother and father. My mother is no longer alive. He got the news by not saying who he is. Doesn't he trust your brothers to protect you? He likes me to stay close by. Mm, really? Well, why is that? <laughs> he was killed. Killed? How? By wolves. Oh my gosh. One of you has stolen. He's doing the same thing that Potiphar did to him. Take me instead. I, I beg you. No. Take me. Take me. 
the guilt. You would sacrifice yourselves for a half-brother who's spoiled by your father? Because I will not make my father suffer again. We were blinded what? by jealousy and sold him into slavery. For 20 years we have lived with that guilt. My father could not bear it a second time, and neither could we. If anyone is to be punished, it should be us. When I, I want to cry. Why? Why? I will not harm any of you or our father. I can't believe How did you get here. How can it be? I want to cry. Why? I am trying not to. You will join me here. I don't want to. All of you, with your family. So sad. This music and the music is so sad. Father, I don't want to cry. I will not my cry. Boy. My boy. He's so old now. It's a miracle. Yes, Father. It is a miracle. Beautiful ending to a beautiful movie. Yeah. There it goes. Okay. Um, about what I was saying earlier that it's Jacob's fault. If you know the story, Jacob wanted to marry Rachel, Rachel, how do you say Rachel, Rachel in English. Um, but according to some uh, costume, they say costume, uh, you can, the youngest cannot get married before the older, the older one. So their father made him work in order to get married to Rachel. But at the wedding day or night, he sneak in Leah instead. So he had to work another seven years. I think it was seven years um, to be able to marry uh, Rahel, uh, Rachel again. Again. Um, the thing is, he really loved Rahel and he didn't really care for Leah. Um, I think eventually he did. But his love was Rahel. And the thing is, she couldn't bear a child. She couldn't become pregnant and when she got Joseph for me it's like he had been waiting for this day at his old age waiting to get a son from the woman that he really loved truly loved he really wanted um, and when that day came he spoiled Joseph so much that I think in some point he got blinded by all the love that he didn't mind what he was saying around the other children, like making him feel special. Oh, wow. The water turned into mud. How many in your family? Five. Five. Next, please. A long life for you, Excellency. And for you. Be <gasps> here. You are not Egyptian. No, sir. My brothers and I have traveled far from Cain. Look, <laughs> Gwen Hyde. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but you haven't contributed to our supply. We don't ask for charity. We'll pay you with silver. <gasps> Is that the same silver? Yes. They saved the money for so many years. Ten what? When you say youngest, no were they thinking? Uh, Are was he thinking about himself? Because I don't think at this point he knew that he had a younger brother. Your Excellency, everything we say is true. I, I swear it. Then prove it. Produce this youngest brother. Why? What would that prove? That you're not lying. If you're telling the truth, I will let you buy all the grain you want. My brothers will come for me. Shut up. Maybe they've suffered these last 20 years as well. Maybe they've changed. No. Vengeance. It's not a good thing, though. You've done what I've asked? Our brother, Benjamin. It looks like him. 
Benjamin, tell me of your, your mother and father. My mother is no longer alive. He got the news by not saying who he is. Doesn't he trust your brothers to protect you? He likes me to stay close by. Mm, really? Well, why is that? <laughs> he was killed. Killed? How? By wolves. Oh my gosh. One of you has stolen. He's doing the same thing that Potiphar did to him. Stop! Take me instead. I, I beg you. No. Take me. Take me. The guilt. You would sacrifice yourselves for a half brother who's spoiled by your father? Because I will not make my father suffer again. We were blinded what? by jealousy and sold him into slavery. For 20 years we have lived with that guilt. My father could not bear it a second time, and neither could we. If anyone is to be punished, it should be us. Well, now I want to cry. Why? Why? I will not harm any of you. Or our father. I can't believe you get here. Can it be? I want to cry. Why? I am trying not to. You will join me here. I don't want to. All of you. With your family. So sad. This music and the music is so sad. Father! I don't wanna Joseph. cry. I will not my cry. Boy. My boy. He's so old now. It's a miracle. Yes, father. It is a miracle. Beautiful oh, ending to a beautiful movie. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Um, about what I was saying earlier that it's Jacob's fault. If you know the story, Jacob wanted to marry Rachel. Rachel? How do you say Rachel? Rachel in English. Um, but according to some uh, costume, there's a costume. Uh, you can the youngest cannot get married before the older the older one so their father made him work in order to get married to Rahel but at the wedding day or night he sneak in Leah instead so he had to work another seven years I think it was seven years um, to be able to marry uh, Rahel uh, Rachel again again um, the thing is he really loved Rahel and he didn't really care for Leia um, I think eventually he did but his love was Rahel and the thing is she couldn't bear a child she couldn't become pregnant and when she got Joseph for me it's like he had been waiting for this day at his old age waiting to get a son from the woman that he really loved truly loved he really wanted um and when that day came he spoiled joseph so much that i think in some point he got blinded by all the love that he didn't mind what he was saying around the other children like making him feel special um, teaching him languages, teaching me, teaching him to read, saying stuff like, "No, you are a miracle. You are special." I get it. Like, um, as a Christian, sometimes we used to say, "Like, you are sent from God. You are set apart to do His work, to do this or that." And I think some people may be jealous you know some things you don't have to say around people and this is not only as a Christian like in everyday life there are things that you need to hold on to yourself like everybody is not to be told everything even in your own family if you have stuff that you want to do um, and you have not see results yet but you have ideas or you're doing things keep it Everybody doesn't need to know what you're doing. I'm gonna tell this is a story I was talking about with my boss today actually about something that I really wanna do and she'd be helping me out. And she told me, Don't tell everybody about everything 
everybody don't need to know you know some stuff she finds out um people go and tell her stuff like but she they, of course she doesn't come and tell me what they're saying but people can go and tell her stuff and then be like let's say for example marlene is doing this marlene is doing that and they are maybe jealous of you or maybe they are saying why can't i do this why can't i do that and everybody doesn't need to know what you're doing do your stuff quietly even people in your family don't need to know some stuff keep some stuff for yourself or if you can't you gotta mind the way you are talking around people you don't have to say everything exactly the way it is you can be vague it's okay to be vague about stuff like <clears throat> you can say i'm applying for a job for example i'm applying for a job which job well i'm applying for any job basically and let's see what happens you don't need to say there are people that get jealous and some people we know them so i'm very careful about what i'm saying and to whom i don't say everything to everybody i have friends that i'm saying some stuff to and friends that i can't say some stuff to friends that i can do some type of stuff with and friends that I, I don't do some type of stuff with i think they gotta be you can do everything with everybody you can say everything with everybody you know so you gotta be really careful even people in your family as i've said so many times um and as I was saying, like, it's Jacob's fault. I know he really cherished um, Joseph pretty much above everybody else. And he showed. And that was the reason why his brother sold him. I think if Jacob was mindful, I'm not talking about the Bible perspective. I'm talking about the movie. If Jacob was mindful about what he's saying around his other children, this thing wouldn't happen okay you have not taught the other children to read or to learn multiple language you haven't made beautiful robe to them you haven't done this or that for them but you are doing this and you are you are being so obvious with this one child and of course they will think that you love them more it's the same thing with our own children if you are showing more attention to one child the other child will see it and it will show and she, she or he will feel it and it's not a good feeling i felt this way myself i have lived with family members i've never lived with my parents or when i was one or two years old um I've lived with family members. They have treated the children. They have treated the children better than what they have treated me. And we are family, you know. And let's talk about Congo. If you um, live with another, with your father's wife, for example, there are people that are evil, evil, okay? The stepmoms are evil. They beat you for no reason just because... You are not a kid. They cannot treat you the same as their kid. They are mad that you exist. They are mad that you are part of this house. Although their husband is your father. This is stuff that happening in my country. There are kids living in the street because their father go and married somebody else. And that somebody else is maltreating that child and then when you tell your father about what's going on they will not believe you because they put the wife above you above everything uh, and I'm so passionate about that stuff that it's a struggle to get structure in our countries like I've lived with people as I said and have been treated differently i've been the same age as other kids but i've been treated badly and differently because i am not that person's child and that's life and i just think um as an advice what i can say to people is be mindful about what you're saying to who to anyone it can be family members it can be colleagues it can be friends some people 
or jealous and you don't know how people will react there are people who are looking for job and then when you tell them where well, i got promoted i got this salary i got this and that and they maybe they say oh man i am very glad for you but deep down you don't know that person be looking for job for 10 years and you've been looking for two months and you got it be mindful, careful about what you are saying to whom and who. You don't know. Their best friends are here in these streets that are each other for small change. These things happen. So, yeah, we got to be careful. I'm talking about all of us. We got to be careful, okay? It's so hard to trust people nowadays, uh, especially with everything that's happening in the world. Everything, it's so hard. You don't know who to trust. You don't know what to say around which kind of people. It's hard. I get it. Um, and therefore, I like to be alone. I like to lay in my apartment. I like to come home and lay in my bed and mind my business, okay? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> And if you have children, be mindful about what you are saying or doing around your children. You cannot favorize one child and mistreat. Do you say mistreat the other one? You cannot put the one child above the other one. It will show that kid will be jealous and mad at this kid. And that you don't know what may happen tomorrow. Okay, so... With that said, it was a beautiful movie. I've been talking so much. It was a beautiful movie. Um, and yeah, sometimes God put us in situation or we are put in some situation that do not look that great. But after that situation, there may be a uh, light in the tunnel. Um, Joseph was, wasn't either uh, mindful of what he was saying around his brothers and doing. So that cast him his life too um but at the end of the day he was purpose to go to egypt and help the children of israel to help the children of egypt to help many nations and it's because of him that many people survive the famine days because he had that wisdom to know what to do and help people so somewhat his struggles turn um to blessings for other people and yeah he had to suffer for some years to live happily ever after after a few years uh, so sometimes when we're going through stuff you don't know when it's gonna end there's always a light um after the tunnel there th th your tunnel may be really long but you still gotta get out of that tunnel okay the tunnel is never closed there's always a light maybe you're not seeing it now but you always see a light maybe it's not a big light a great light maybe a little light but a light is a light okay <laughs> Yeah, with that said, um, thank you guys for being here. It's been a pleasure to watch this movie with you. And I hope you like this reaction. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction. I'm gone. Bye-bye. Peace.